Person 31 says Mogaka pays 300 shillings for his transport, 400 shillings for his two sons, and 100 for his sister daily. If the fare went up by 15%, how much will he spend in six days? Now, to solve this question, um, he pays um, 300 shillings for himself. He pays 400 shillings for his two sons and 100 shillings for his sister daily. Now, the total shilling he pays is actually 800 shillings. Now, the question says if the fare went up by 50%, it means there was an increase in the fare. So, what we are going to do here is to do 15% over 100 times 800 shillings. So, let's get the fare increase. So, that will give us um, 15 times 8. 8 times 5 is 40. We we'll write 0. We we'll carry for 8 times 1. It's 8. And that will be 120. So, that means um, the fare increased by 120 um, shillings. So that means what if the fare went up by 15%, how much will he spend in six days? That means in one day he will spend he's supposed to spend 800 plus 120 shillings. That will give us um, a total of 920 shillings. Be careful because we have already seen 920 in the answer. So that means what he's going to spend in six days will be 920 multiplied by six. This will be that means for six days, it will be 920 multiplied by 6. That will be 6 times 0 will be 0. 6 times 2 will be 12. 2 will carry 1. Then 6 times 9 is going to be um, 54 plus 1. That will give us um, 55. So this is going to be 5520. So our final answer is 5520 shillings. So that means um, we're going to mark um, A is the correct answer. So that will take us this. We can collected money in the following denominations. 8 1,000 shilling notes, 18 500 shilling notes, 70 200 shilling notes, and 150 shilling notes. One third of the money was changed into 1,000 shilling notes. Why the rest was changed into 500 shilling notes? How many notes did she have all together? Now, let's break it down. This is going to be 8 1,000 shilling notes. That will give her 1,000. This will be 18 times 500 shilling notes. 18 times 5 is 90. So this is 9,000. Um, 70 times 200 shilling notes. This is going to give us um, 14,000. Why 150 shilling notes is going to give us um, 5,000. Now let's sum this up. This is going to give us some. Um, this will be 0, 0, 0. So 8 plus 9 is 17, 17 plus 4 is 21 plus 5, that's 26, this will be 6, carry 1, and this is 36 shillings. So now the question says one third of the money was changed into 1,000 shilling notes. So let's get one third. 1 over 3 times 36,000, that would be 36,000 divided by 3, this is going to give us um, 12,000 shilling notes. So it says this was changed into 1,000, so let's do... Um, 12,000 shillings all divided by 1,000. 1,000 shillings. How many notes is it going to give us? So this will give us 12 notes. Now, remember, um, the balance will now be 36,000 subtract 12,000 shillings. This is going to give us 24,000 shillings. Now, the question says why the rest was changed into 500. So for the 500, we'll do 24,000 divided by 500 all in shillings so let's cancel out um double zero is going to cancel double zero five into 24 we we'll have um we we'll have four remainder four five into 40 is going to give us um eight this would be eight notes so how many notes did she have all together that's 12 plus 48 and that would give us a total of 60 notes so that's 60 notes so our correct answer here is going to be um d Second my D, and that will take me to the next question. Question 33 says, the main height of eight adults is 1 meter 42 cm. The height of six adults were recorded as follows. That's what is listed below. The remaining two adults are of equal height. What is the height of each remaining adult? Now, 
this is an average question it's a word problem in average question so once you understand how to play with your average you'll be able to solve this question now notice the student's height are in meters and in centimeters so the first thing you need to do is um, convert all of them to what centimeters now know that 100 centimeter gives what one meter or you say one meter is what 100 cm so for one meter 36 centimeter we have 136 so now let's sum up the total this will be 136 cm plus 141 plus 152 plus 130 plus 150 plus 137 plus now we've listed the six people now remember it says remaining two adults which are of equal height so let's call the adult x plus x because they are of what equal height so what it means is we are going to sum this total now when you sum up this total it's going to give you um 846 plus 2x now now we have um eight people here six plus two people why the x remains the unknown so now we'll do divided by what remember we're doing for average so we'll do divided by eight now it says their mean height is what 1 meter 42 which is going to be 142 so from here we can cross multiply and solve this equation so this is going to be 846 plus 2x is equal to 142 times 8 okay so what we do um 142 multiply by 8 so this is going to give us 8 times 2 will be 6 you carry 1 8 times 4 is 32 plus 1 33 you carry 3 8 times 1 is going to be 8 plus 3 that is 1136 so this is going to be 846 plus 2x is equal to 1136. Now collecting like terms, 2x is going to be 1136 minus 846. Why? Because 846 is coming over, so we'll have a negative. So 2x is going to be, so 113x, we're going to subtract um, 846. So this is going to give us um, 0. Um, Borrow one from here, here becomes zero, put it in here. 13 minus 4, this will give us um 9. The 10 minus 8, this is going to give us um 2. So we have um 290. Therefore, our x is going to be 290 divided by 2. And this is going to give us um 2 into 2 is 1. 2 into 90 is going to be 145 centimeter. Now convert back to your meters. This is going to be 1 meters, 1 meter. 45 cm so our correct answer here is going to be um d so circle my d